one it doesn't matter when we're inserting page numbers so wherever we can go to insert and then do our page numbers uh, like it at the bottom or for ease of us scrolling and seeing them let's put it at the top but on most official documents you will find the page numbers a lot of people like it at the bottom so then let's put it at the bottom so these page numbers are there and then we can format this we want this section one page numbers to be roman numbers we can just right click on it highlight and right click and say format page number and then click on toggle on the start at and then the page that we want to start at the number that we should start at then say okay we just didn't change to the roman numerals when we ran away eagerly to format the page number but let's go back and then change it to roman number house I don't like the smaller ones I like the bigger ones so we have I and then now we are in section 2 now while in section 2 before we can change section 2 number into a different numbering format we should have the link or toggle off the link between it and then the previous session which is session 1 so we go ahead and look up there and then click to turn it off the link to previous should be turned off now it is behaving as independent of the page previous to it so now we can also format this one to a different numbering format we format page numbers the previous one we did it roman number so let's maintain this we only need to go to the page numbering starting point and allow it to start at one so we say okay so you scroll up to confirm it works you still notice yes it works because here is still i and then section two is now starting one so we go to section three in our section three if we need it to continue that way we'll leave it and it will continue the number and number otherwise will be in the first page of the section three and we will format this page numbering of section three differently so we go there and then format that differently so section three we want it to continue but with a different formatting so that out when we print we know the pages that are coming from section 3 so we can choose to say continue from previous I mean we can choose to continue from where we are that is if you continue from page 3 so we increase this to 3 so we say 3 say okay now we can choose to do like we saw in that sample demo that we saw so that we know where we are going so we can choose to insert something put some shape around the number in that section the same like with the, the other one was you can choose anything you like so we surrounded the text with this cycle and then since we can't see the typing we decide to remove the fill of that shape that we added so just say there's no fill so that you can see through it and then that is that so a document is formatted the way we want so let's scroll down this is page one we have i this is page two we have uh, what we are having this because we didn't we didn't the link one from the other so let's go back to we are in uh, this is section three so we have to the link section three from section two so we are going to delink it by clicking always remember to do the delinking 
so that you notice when we didn't remember to do that when we did the formatting it affected the previous and then the next so now we're going to do leave that leave this out of here and then the next section I and then one and then while in section three we do another delink and then this time we want to now add that shape because when we didn't link take the link off it made us have the thing affect everywhere so now let's remove our fill again uh, since we used that earlier it will just work when we click to the side there so now we have that done and then this place too we will do some delinking of the section section 4 right notice it worked so section 4 to we do a, a different shape we can even choose to give the circle a different color while we are here big layout this section this is section one section two and this we are in section three now we go to where are we we are in section four so in section four we do a delinking each time you double click at the top or bottom you activate the footer and header section of the document and you can always clearly see it showing some I don't know whether this is yellow or this is uh, orange highlighting on the link to previous once it's orange it means it's active it's still same and you can look to the right there and see it that is telling you that that page is still having the same formatting as the previous so you just deactivate the link and then you can now go ahead and do some any of the modifications let's say by adding some text you want to appear at the top ddk something should show so good for session four that once you have the link it, this writing will not affect the previous one the top there will be written there and this section you won't have anything written there so now we go to this bottom and then do the modification it's we're going to do the delinking from the previous while you are there and then we just change the shape to something else so the shape that we use for the, the number that formatting we want to use something similar something like this i don't know it's just for demonstration purpose but your creativity is what will always limit you so your level of creativity so what you want to do so don't be limited we are just showing you the tools what the tools can do and then you then apply them the way you want so now we have done now notice it let's zoom using the zoom slider downwards so that we can see all our pages so we are we can now see all our pages notice one of them has a heading written, uh, something written at the top that is section four section three has its footer in a circular form 
maybe I should zoom out a bit again for us. Uh, yes, so notice section four, the number is going to be circled, the, having this triangle around it, and then section two have a circle around it, and section, I mean section three, circle around section four, I mean section two, no circle, but the number is one, two, three. And then the first section is I, I, supposed to be I, I. So let's see how we can add the pages, add more pages to the first section. Let's add one page or two more pages to the first session by just pressing control enter or go to insert page number while we are there we insert we insert we insert we insert so now our document has eight pages but the greater notice even down there the page numbering is in the format that that section is formatted so this is page 3 I am in which is numbered I I I so to be able to see that well let's go back to a bigger zoom then I can scroll down for us to see the number look notice I I I I I I, 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 three, and then now we're in the fourth page, all still in the same session, if you check down there to see, and then once I hit the other section, the section two, which is supposed to have a different formatting, now page five is still in section one, and then page six, which is in section two. Is starting the numbering renumbering again in a format which is different which is one and then the next session is different so at that point we can start adding page numbers again so the content there in this section which is starting one if we click add page add page add page break so now we have one, two, three. That is all in section two, as you can see in my status bar. Then we come next and we notice it still starts counting from three because that's why we said it should start counting from. So if we want it, if we want for the continuation to continue there, then we may have to allow it to count continue from previous or at this point that our document at the point that our document is complete, we come and ask it to restart the counting at wherever we have the, the previous ended. So in this case we will make it four. That is, if the previous is, yes, the previous ended three. So we we'll make it start counting from four. And then that is section three. Now we move to section, uh, we are now in uh, section three. So we we'll move to, we'll move to 